So it's been a little less than a month since I launched new to let's talk about what I've done in that month, how it's currently doing performance wise, and what I'm going to be doing in the month of May, which is basically link building and setting up the topical authority. So in the first month, I added some basic citations. So I created a Facebook page, I created a Twitter account, a LinkedIn page, which I connected to my personal profile, a Google business account and a crunch based profile for the website. Now all of these citations have links pointing back to new to apart from all of that, I added added in meetup data and this still needs some tweaking, but this is what it's gonna look like here. You'll be able to basically scroll through different events that are happening live for that location. And most importantly, in that time frame, I've just been checking how things have been going on Google Search Console, making sure that everything's been getting indexed correctly. So if we go over to Search Console, we're gonna see, first of all, I've gone 16 clicks, so first few clicks coming in. But the most important thing is that we have our pages indexed. So we actually have 428 pages that I wanted to index, and we've gotten all of those properly indexed everything's looking good there. Now, a couple more things I want to show you guys. If we actually do a little site search, we can actually see how the FAQ snippets are coming up. So this is that structured data that I was adding to all of the pages, and this is looking quite nice. So if we actually end up ranking for any of these cities, we're going to be able to take up just a little bit more real estate in that SERP, right? So pretty cool there. And the last thing I want to show you guys is just how new two is doing inside of Ahrefs. So we're going to see a seven in domain rating kind of meaningless, and we've gotten a few more referring domains, mostly from my personal personal website and my brother's personal website. But what I'm actually really excited about is this specific keyword right here. So Ahrefs has picked up one keyword, which is super exciting because it's this specific keyword, which is things to do in Lille, which actually happens to be one of the main cities that we're trying to rank. So obviously not a lot of data coming in just yet. It's only been a few weeks. This is definitely what I was expecting. We're definitely deep in that Google sandbox. And if you guys don't know what the Google sandbox is, it is the unofficial probation period for new websites where Google doesn't really trust your website. And as a result, it doesn't really really send any traffic or keyword rankings your way. Now, let's talk about what my plan is moving forward and how we're going to get out of the sandbox. The first thing is focusing on link building and on building that topical authority. So start off with link building. So the first thing is that today, guys, I'm launching on product. Hunt. So if you're seeing this video on May 2nd, you still have time to give it an upvote. And now I'm not really trying to rank number one on product hunt. That's quite difficult. But the higher we rank, the more exposure. And as a result, I can show you guys the results of a solid launch on product. Product hunt. Now, my next steps for link building are the following. The first thing is I want to launch a press release. So I've been recommended by Charles Float to use these guys, Magic PR. So I'm either going to get the gold or the silver pricing. I'm honestly ready to just throw money at this project, guys. I want to see this succeed just as much as you do. Now, there's a lot of debate about whether or not press releases are actually helpful for SEO. And in my personal opinion, if you're doing these type of press releases to get do follow links, then you're probably going to be quite disappointed because my website is brand new. I basically want it to be mentioned absolutely everywhere and to try and send as many signals to Google as possible that this is a real website and that it's live. And I'm almost treating these type of press releases almost like getting citations, right? So I'm not actually hoping to get high quality backlinks. So apart from this press release, guys, I think this early on, the quality of the backlink matters a lot. So I do want to try and get links from as deep in the niche as possible. So to do that, I had an idea of creating a link bait badge type of strategy, which actually seems to work quite quite well for this niche. And the gist of that is basically to feature a bunch of local hotels and restaurants and different activities and events, and then reach out to those business owners. This will probably work best with smaller businesses and send them an email saying that they've been featured in this list and offer a badge that they can put on their website. So TripAdvisor actually does this quite well. They have a traveler's choice, best of the best. And there's a bunch of backlinks coming to this specific page because people love to talk about their success and how well their business is doing. So I'm quite excited about that. I recognize that a lot of these links might not be super high in domain rating, but they're going to be super relevant. Now, another thing that I can be doing at this time is Hero and guest posting. These are both great options that work, but I'll probably start doing that after this type of link bait strategy. And the last thing that I wanted to run by you guys is since I'm doing this publicly, maybe this is a good opportunity to try some of these really popular link buying services and give you guys an open review of what those links look like and if they actually work. So let me know if you guys would be into that and which company you guys would like to buy links from. I have a few ideas. So if you guys are into that, I'll also be open about that. Now let's talk about topical 
authority, which these days is honestly as important as link building. So how am I going to gain topical authority for this brand new website? Well, the plan is to basically build out a big topical cluster, something like this, right? And the main thing is I want my current things to do page, right? So this one that we see right here, I want this to be the main pillar page. And the idea is I want to build two different types of clusters that surround that main pillar page. And the first one is to basically go a level deeper into the categories that I'm posting about on the pillar page. And I actually got a couple hints from Google Search Console, which is kind of neat. So if we actually go back into Google Search Console, we click on the full report, we're going to see that there's a bunch of different keywords that are popping up referring to specific hotels, right? So it might make sense to target that specific group of keywords with its own page and as a result, feed that pillar, right? So the idea is to add a page about the best hotels in the area, the best restaurants, the best activities, the best events, all the different categories that I speak about on that main pillar page. And here's actually a live example. If we scroll all the way down here, we're basically going to have a bunch of these different links that point to the cluster page. And so we're basically just going to have the top however many hotels in the area. We're going to scroll down. We're then going to have a little content section, most likely going to be generated with GPT 3.5 or 4 if I get access. And then down here, I want to have some internal links to the adjacent cluster, right? So if this is the hotels page, then I'll have some internal links pointing to the restaurants page and the activities and the events and so on and so forth. So all the clusters are perfectly interlinked and they're all pointing back to that pillar page, right? That's how we're building that topical cluster. Now, the second side of this cluster is to move laterally into the things to do keyword. So that first side was moving deeper and now we're moving laterally. And there's actually a really good example with this website called Santorini Dave. Not sure if you guys have heard of this, but these guys are getting a bunch of traffic and they're actually doing super well for the hotels niche, right? So ranking really well for a lot of those powerful keywords. And these are all the pages relating to the hotels for one specific area, right? So check this out. So they have best hotels in the area, best hotels for families, boutique, cheap choice near an airport with swimming pools, so on and so forth, right? So I think the equivalent for new to maybe could be things to do in Paris with families, things to do in Paris for different seasons, maybe on a budget, so on and so forth, right? So different variations of that things to do keyword that are also connected to that pillar page. I think that could do quite well. It might be a little bit harder to build in comparison to those first type of clusters, but I think it could also help with topical authority. So yeah, guys, that's basically what I'll be working on this specific month. Next month, I'll talk to you guys about all the results. And again, if you haven't yet, please go vote on Product Hunt. Let's try and get as many votes as possible so I can share the results with you guys in a month. And if you guys have any questions or comments or feedback, leave them in the comment section. I reply to every single comment. Thanks for sticking till the end. I'll see you in the next one.